Concluding our little tour of the MyComSoft or StarTech capture card, in this video we're going to look at how to use VirtualDub to prepare a video for YouTube. As well as using VirtualDub, I'm going to be using the X264 VFW codec, which is obtainable from this website. Now, you can capture directly with this codec if you prefer, thus saving yourself a step later on. It's really up to you. In this example, however, I'm going to be going from a Lagarith capture to an X264 encoded file that we should be able to upload directly to YouTube. So I've already installed this X264 VFW codec and of course I've installed VirtualDub available from virtualdub.org. So let's um, start VirtualDub. And the first thing we need to do is go to File and Open Video File. And the file I want to work with is this Saturn Capture example here. So we'll open that up. Right, so the first thing you can see is that the aspect ratio is wrong. This is because the capture was done without the line doubler activated. For YouTube uploading we'll need to correct this, else the YouTube player will simply display it stretched, like this. So what we need to do is go to video and make sure full processing mode is selected. And then go to filters. Now click on add and choose resize here then click on OK. Right so what we need to do is double this vertical resolution from 240 to 480. So first of all under aspect ratio click here so that it says disabled. Now choose relative percent and type in 200 here. And that's it click on OK and we're now done with this filter. So we'll click on OK again. Now you might want to change the audio settings too to keep the file size down. Go to the audio menu and choose full processing mode. Then on the audio menu again choose compression. You can now choose the MPEG Player 3 or MP3 codec some reason it appears twice in my system. So I'm going to choose the bottom one, that was the one that works, and then choose a bit rate. I think 128k bits should be OK. And then just click on OK. So finally we need to choose a codec to encode our video with. So I'll go to video again and choose compression. Now there's several suitable codecs you might want to use. For instance, on some of my videos I like to add some scrolly text using the PowerDirect package. I found PowerDirect likes the FFD Show codec a lot better than the X264 for some reason. Since we're just concerned with YouTube compatibility in this tutorial, let's go down and choose X264 VFW and click on configure. Now you can experiment with these settings here and under the presets or the rate control. You might want to change the rate control to one of these to increase the compression. Anything you upload to YouTube is going to get recompressed anyway. For longer video files you might want to go to a lossy compression just to get the upload size down. Anyway, for this example I'll leave it on single pass lossless. And to make sure this virtual dub hack option is selected. And then click on OK. And OK again. We're now ready to re-encode the video. So go to file and choose save as AVI. Give it a name and then click on save. It'll take a little while to encode the video, 
but it won't take too long for this because it's just a short little example. OK, so that's done. I can now go to Windows Explorer and I can see the file there. I'll just double click it to show you. And now the aspect ratio is correct. And this file's ready for uploading straight to YouTube. And that's it. You've now gone from a captured file to a file that's ready for uploading to your YouTube channel.